what's up everybody this is your girl erica from the classy climb blog i just finished at town lake holy moly my legs are aching but i have somewhere to go so as you see a little bit of park there a little bit of this here but i have to talk to y'all about good juiciness okay now um part of what i wanted to talk about today was the fact that we have one in four women going home now many people say erica i'm so tired of you quoting that stat why are you quoting the stat about the women going home because it's important it's the most important thing I can probably talk to you about. And I think you guys are not connecting the dots. So there's been a lot of articles about food insecurity and the dollar crash. And then why? Why, Erica? And here's the reason why. Everybody going home. <laughs> not only are they going home, the return of cooking will be what's up. Now, you think I'm joking on this. Now, if you ever talk to people in times of hunger or, or bad economic times, what happens? They start learning how to cook. I think y'all think I'm joking. Now, I Googled the other day on a separate laptop, you know, budget friendly meals, budget mom, coupon mom, and I was absolutely inundated, um, you know, inundated with all these all these articles about uh all these articles about <clears throat> about budgets and how to have a budget and how to do this and and i thought well geez louise it can't be what's going on out here right it just can't be that crazy and so um you know home cooking budget shopping grocery store budgets and I'll, and every time i read the articles oh man it's food insecure out here and i look at the people and they've got new cars they're all overweight nobody's nobody's starving to death bones uh you know at the end of the day i, I just know what's going to happen when they start surveying these women and they're like one in four are going home you also have at the same time a lot of um, administrative jobs you can do that stuff from home you got a lot of these jobs that they, they don't need a whole office for you to be in and if you're not getting paid over 50 60k a year a lot of that is being ate up by daycare that's being ate up by other cost and it don't make no financial sense now earlier i saw some foolery on o'shea channel where someone was uh seven months pregnant or something looking for a man and i was like what but it again it the food insecurity the the dollar crisis which is inflation and all these things all they link up and tie to is you have to make better financial decisions now again when i talk on the channel there's gonna be the haves and the have-nots and that's just all all there is right um now there's a show called outer banks right and i'm from north carolina and I, the show i was like well it's a teenage drama I'm not really wanting to watch a teenage drama but let's go see what it's talking about and when it opens up when it opens up the video first things first it has the kid driving through town and he's like this is there's two people in this town people with two homes or two jobs and at the time i laughed but i was like he's spitting okay because <laughs> that is the true economy when you go into some of these outer bank towns you have people making 10 12 dollars an hour if that okay if that um it really just making money off tips because tourists come in those towns and dominate so part of why i wanted to talk about airbnbs in previous videos is i was trying to get you all to see that uh the airbnb market was killing it they were making a ton of money off airbnb because so many new yorkers were trying to get out of new york and they stayed for months and the outer banks hated it and loved it because some of the outer banks uh towns were on lockdown because they had sick people and then some of them were just going on as business as usual same thing in florida florida had a bunch of out-of-towners come and use the airbnbs and it was great okay and here's here's part of why i'm using that as an analogy what you guys have to understand is it's a reset it's a reset on different levels it it didn't make any sense you know the amount of the amount of work you have to do at home versus work out in the public space i wouldn't wish that on nobody i wouldn't wish a woman a full-time working job on anybody uh because here's the thing when i go to work now i'm already like oh how can i who can i hire to reduce all this work i'm doing reduce me down to nothing okay and i remember having friends who were engineers and they were so exhausted and they were just wiped out we'd be like let's go do stuff and they'd be like i just can't i'm so exhausted most of those girls and when i say most i mean nine out of ten got married to engineers on the job and 
and this is why I'm always talking to y'all about proximity because two of the girls I know they're amazingly beautiful they're just very nerdy they don't they don't really wear makeup they don't really wear lipstick but they got engineer husbands and they both make it 120 racks a piece you live in their best life okay well then there's one girl who you know somebody's car homely she still got married okay she still got married so so when people sit here and go it looks over everything no it's looks over everything for you who are poor and that's all you got to show as a, a win is look how good looking my wife is i'm so poor this is all i have to show i have no other accomplishments for my life but look at my wife right and that's that's just the truth of it because some of these people i go to these chamber of commerce meetings with neither one is good looking they got money though they just ain't good looking and so um what you realize is the metrics on what small wins are are different for different communities and the biggest part of that is seeing people accumulate assets in the middle of a recession now there are several people if you see me bring on the rise 20 percent class and other stuff they buying whole mobile home parks they buy more rentals they're increasing their wholesaling businesses they are moving up and up and up and then you see a group of people in our society who are trying to come down now what do i mean coming down what do i mean coming down i mean they're trying to conserve and I don't mean be conservative as in the political sense. I mean conserve as in to survive, right? And they're trying to survive. So these one in four women that are they're surveying that are going home, what are those women going to be doing now? They're going to be leaning harder into their significant other to be the provider. They're going to figure out what can I do to res if, if I'm already coming all the way home, how can I how can I improve our family life? Okay, I need to learn how to cook. I need to learn how to budget the money we do have. They're going to put them on Dave Ramsey plan to pay off all their debt. This is what's coming down the pipeline. And I put that rise of 20% class up early because I saw it. And I've been talking about women going home for two years. Even when I would go over there, O'Shea Duke channel and the MGTOWs. And they'd be like, oh, Eric, you don't know what you're talking about. Honey, I know what I'm talking about. Money and economics slap sense into people. Money and economics slap sense into people i said that twice so you can hear me people who are on the edges of society <laughs> try to be careful edges of society and don't have a partner or edges of society and don't have a community the opportunity to get a partner and the opportunity to get a community they'll be on it prime example several of the people you see in manosphere MGTOW, all these people live in these fake lives where they go home and they actually have wives and kids but they tell you to do the opposite you have no community except you go online every day talking to these people and that, that's not real that's why i've always been a big proponent of like hey let's have a community event let's have an event bright event let's go out and meet in person that's where the real magic happens and you know even for my explosive networking course i put in there all the different ways that you actually you connect people or you meet people in person the speed of trust is like exponential right when you're doing all this stuff online you're like maybe they're true maybe they're not but you hop on the phone with somebody and they hear your voice or they see you in person the speed of trust is exponential it's completely different thing okay now with that being said with the one in four women going home that's why i started i was doing a i was working on some things for another blog uh, getting the setup, getting the background ready, and getting the affiliate marketing ready. And I was just out there seeing so many mommy bloggers, and they're making money. You can see the traffic numbers. They're getting traffic because people are like researching, how do I go home? Like, hmm, how can I stop? Sometimes you just have to stop. And this is what this reset, this economic reset is doing for a lot of people. They're getting this opportunity to just stop. Stop spending, stop traveling, stop everything forced reduction of budget and forced like review of what they're spending this is what's forcing them to stop okay and this is what's forcing them to count the dollars okay they're counting the dollars and again i see someone make a comment about feminism or driving i'm trying not to read and let me be very clear there's a difference between your grandma's feminism and third wave feminism and this is what mctow's unfortunately never learned they don't know the granular of anything First wave feminism was your grandma being at work and didn't want her boss to slap her ass. First wave feminism was your grandma, you know, wanting to be able to take a check or being able to buy something without someone being like, where's your husband? You know, these very antiquated things that are just common decency, right? 
um that's the problem right first wave third wave is some other shit, okay that's some like against children anti-family anti-children anti-everything that's some creepy stuff okay that's creepy first wave is just hey can you not touch my butt while i'm at work can you just actually talk to me like a person that's different your, what your grandma asked for when she was a secretary is not the same of what uh sheila in, in the you know believe all women movement it is that's two different things um and so that part is granular but that part also adds to what i'm saying because what these women realize is what i fought for was to be out of the work be out in the workplace to have enough money to survive and not be forced into bad conditions aka marry men aka marry somebody i didn't love didn't like or was abusive etc etc right that's what they originally fought for so now that they're in these positions where they are working their ass off they have these kids and works kicking their butt they're like wait a minute wait a minute this was not what i wanted this was not what i wanted this is not what we signed up for okay they're looking for the exit ramp and when i encourage all of you i encourage all of you to be looking for the exit ramp in your lives and I mean that men and women because you should not depend again if you watch my previous video where I read from the book of Pyronomics your job is just to keep you from being homeless <laughs> most people jobs are just to keep them over broke and now you're gonna say Erica don't say jobs are just over broke I'm not gonna say that because there are a lot of jobs out there paying 120,000 140,000 a year you just aren't in them and that's why I bring on uh, SNS consulting and different people to come on to talk about high paying jobs and LinkedIn so that y'all will have those opportunities if you so choose but the best thing is get in and exit the marketplace everybody i've seen that's really enjoyed life and i'm being honest here for my friends who did engineering in school for my friends who did they came in they were in the marketplace like two three years work and then they were out they were out i got married they went on, whoop, out i'm out of here yo i'm gone um even now i'm meeting people who uh, and meeting men who are in Houston they're in oil and gas and they started buying rentals one a year because they were making so much money comparison if the average guy around you making 50k a year in Houston living great and you're making 120 instead of you doing a lifestyle creep where you're buying the new car you're buying all this stuff you're doing all this stuff you actually take that money and buy rentals several of those men I know they don't even engineers no more they're just managing their rentals at this point which is awesome okay because right now in the economy they're saying uh i think this bill they're passing right now is going to give us a year of no no eviction supposedly <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of people <laughs> they're gonna be hurt okay but but that because because that's you have to think of what is your exit strategy so when i see all these things of people saying they're food insecure 75 percent of children in new jersey are food insecure the best thing i'm telling people is if you're if you hear people talk about food insecurity that makes no sense to me that tells me they're not stocking up any food they're not they're not buying excess food they're not stocking stockpiling their house with the staples and the basics and they don't cook the, the math is just there every time you watch Dave Ramsey you know you could watch him for years and every single one of those people they will tell you just math, just looking at their actual statements of what they spend every month they were spending on average a thousand dollars a month eating out and a thousand dollars on buying food for their home they were double spending okay and he would go well why you know that's a lot and food would go to waste and food wouldn't be cooked and all this other stuff so if we cut that eating out which you can't always cut out everything but again let's just say you cut that thousand dollars of eating out now you got another thousand dollars in your pocket And again, let's even put it on another level. You got a wife, she's working, spending gas, making just enough money to cover the daycare. You cut that out, you get her back home, gas has gone down now, and also cost of care because she's that person. You guys are increasing. Most people are like, oh, I'm losing my wife's income. You're not losing, you're gaining. And uh, I know that's, some people are like, well, Eric, I'm not married, da, da, da. you're talking about people that are married. I'm talking to you from the perspective that a lot of people are out here saying that uh, black men and men in general are single and okay there's a difference between the word single and not married sure there's a lot of people not married 
but they are living with women <laughs> and they are living with one in three under what number one in three from 18 to 34 are living at home with their parents they are living with somebody i cannot wait for the survey to come out because a lot of people are living with people in roommate situations and they financially should not be as bad as they are they shouldn't i think right now just to give you kind of like not to creep you out but i have like 57 cans of uh, boneless skinless sardines at my house I have 100 pounds of beans at my house i bought stuff from nation of islam and also i have some other stuff and when people say why do you have all that it's just you erica i say yeah but what if there's a time where i can't go to the store what if there's a time i just want to come home and not rent to the grocery store if you read a lot of the surveys of people that go to the grocery store they go to the grocery store every other day every other day y'all what if you can't go grocery store every other day that's crazy every other day and i remember i had friends who that's how she shopped all the time she'd go get fresh meat and i was like girl this ain't europe you ain't got to go get fresh meat every day you can buy some extra and put it in the refrigerator and so part of why i'm, I'm bringing up these shows and i'm i'm like trying to help people segue where they want to go is you have to sit down and be really um i guess the word is meticulous whatever you have to really write out where is it you're trying to go because if you don't decide you will drift and there's no no you do not want to drift that is you're going to always drift down there's no one in this society that drifts upstream there's way too many articles and studies out there where they're showing kids who have middle class parents and they're in poverty because they were just drifting they drifted on the coasting of their parents and you cannot do that. The best thing I can tell y'all, the reason I'm putting together that explosive networking class is I just want people to understand that like, it takes a few meetings to get you on a different trajectory. It takes a few meetings to get you in the right rooms. And, and a lot of times what happens is people have sat in the wrong rooms for so long and never had to improve their skills, never had to improve their talents. Now this, this cuck cuck off robot Rona is got them oops I've got to adjust my skills oops I've got to adjust the room of people I'm with uh, something Glenn Cameron and a, and a couple other youtubers I've been noticing lately they go when their money fell off their friends fell off and and then the reason I tell you that is that happens to often to people that that's happened to me that's happened to other people I know but reasons why one is somebody sees you drowning they don't want to drown with you that's one number two is in theory you should have seven to ten spaces of gap between you and utter poverty and, and, and again that's not always possible but it, sh it sh you should have several things you can sell liquidate do what you must to do that okay i watched invisible people and invisible people is a youtube channel where they basically go on the street and interview the homeless now here's my thing you got the truth her truth and his truth right there's always three sides of the truth it's somewhere in the middle and so there was a, a couple on there young uh, the black couple they weren't that old um they had been together over 10 years no no almost 20 years and so i was like are they married of course they weren't married okay so i was like I noted his mother had been taking care of his aunt for 20 years either she had a stroke or something that they she'd been taking care of for 20 years and taking care of her they were living in the same house owned by the sister of course that she was taking care of well the mother falls ill so now you got two elderly women who are ill and him and this girlfriend because they never got married 20 years together never married went to california to come take care of the mother but mother and the aunt right so they take care of both of them the aunt dies mother dies shortly after that the cousin who owns the house because really it was his mother's house and she died now it's like, all right, I'm going to sell the house and y'all going to get on out. Now, in the comments, people are like, oh, my God, how horrible is that? That family's horrible. You know, the cousin's stealing from them. And I keep telling people they don't. They're not listening. Old boy doesn't own anything. They don't even own a car. He took him and his girlfriend of 20 years over to take care of his mother. And they don't, they're not contributing to that house that's right they came there to lay up and see people love going erica that cousin should have did better by them and let me be very 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 
honest with you. I, we've had family members in our family who, who are no good lazies in a family of go-getters. And we've made it every, every opportunity to make sure they're never homeless in the street. Now you gonna say, Erica, well, that's your family. No, no, no. I don't know anybody out here in America that I've ever met that is like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna let my cousins go homeless. That cousin probably offered them, and again, there's their truth, his truth, and the truth. He probably offered them a lot of opportunity to get it together. Now the house was in San Francisco. You already know about San Francisco. The house, and the, what do you want the cousin to do? Sit on a million dollar house so y'all can lay up in it for free? That doesn't even make mathematical sense. So yes, I totally believe them that their cousin sold the house, but then there again lies in that whole chain of events. Where was the mother's uh, life insurance? Your mother should have left you life insurance. Okay, if she didn't leave you life insurance because she couldn't pay the policy, if y'all were there for two years taking care of these older ladies, you should have been paying into some life insurance because you know they're about to die. <laughs> If whatever policy she had, you should have kept it up. Listen, we have a family member. We've kept up a policy for 15 years. Ain't seen them. Ain't seen them in forever. But no, they're somewhere out there. Praying they come back alive, honestly. But if they don't, we have that policy because we don't want them to be in a position where their body's out somewhere and we cannot afford to bury them. That is dishonorable. So, when people tell me that, oh, we ain't got no life insurance policies, we ain't got no, I, I don't understand that. Cause they're like 15 bucks a month some of those if you get them at a good age young age when you're like 30 <laughs> you're talking about 20 dollars a month forever you know okay and and so there's no honor in that there's no honor in not being able to say i, I have a life insurance policy for my mother and clearly my mother's taking care of my aunt for 20 years they are not in the best health okay there should have been multiple policies there so, so when I hear these things, and I'm just taking this, this story as an example, when I hear these things, this just shows me people have no preparedness, they aren't prepared, they are just drifting through life, and you can, when you drift, you're going to drift into homelessness. And I don't mean that to be like crass or rude, I mean that to be serious. There have been times in my life where I was like, oh my God, I'm one paycheck away. Let me go sleep on my friend's couch. Let me go roommate with these girls to make sure I've got my money right. right and if you're in that condition when I see all these people in these stories you should be spending your day brainstorming how you can better serve other people period if I'm at home taking care of two elderly people and the girlfriend is working even in San Francisco girlfriend's working that will require two people to work when your mother died and the aunt died you both should have been working 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 because if so your cousin would have been glad to take some money Okay. Some money's better than no money. Okay. So when I watch invisible people, I watch it because I know people are stubborn. I watch it because the nature of people is to not fix something. It is to not address something. It is not to do it until they're forced to. There's an old rule. You can go Google this everywhere. The pain of change and the pain of being the same. People do not change till the pain is so intense that they rather change than be where they are. It has to hurt. Now, part of that is you can go look on the internet. You can look all over here. And you can see where these women are, are, are in their 40s, but yet they want a husband now. They're willing to do everything. Work out, change, put them kids out, whatever they got to do to get that. You have men out here who are telling you, oh, we don't care about these women. We don't care about these women. It's a lie. Tell me why all the men, how to dress and look better and date women channels are going through the roof. It can't be both. It cannot be both that we don't want somebody and we don't care about them women and men's channels are going through the roof on how to date. Men's channels are hitting million dollar subs. They're hitting million dollar subs over and over and over. Every man channel right now that's talking to you how to date and how to dress as a man is hitting one million. So either, either, Either we just have magically the Skynet is just giving them all these views or we have people searching for that. Do you dig what I'm saying? Come on now. Come on. Same thing with these women. These channels are going through the roof because they're home. And what I see people is either hyper, uh, and when I mean hyper, I mean intense, intensely looking for information to solve their problem. 
most people think the way to solve my problem is to get married or to get another person, right? That's that's most people, right? Um, or some scheme, some trick, some something, a quick fix. So that's why you have certain channels that are going through the roof because most people, they, they you know, in their 20s, the best answer was, hey, let's just go get in a relationship. And now I have somebody who stands at the house with me and goes, does trips with me and, and goes, does events with me. And now I have two people to spit the bills. That's what most people do. That's the simplest answer for most people where they go get a roommate. There is a, um, there is a article I was showing people and it was a woman is traveling around the world with a stranger. She's never met a man. It's not a woman, a man. She's traveling and he's like a half black man with freckles, shaved head. If you see the article, I'll, I'll try to post it in the community section. And I don't know about you, but my mama and them, <laughs> hey, you ain't traveling with no man we don't know. You're not traveling with somebody you ain't never met in person. That's dangerous. That's just internally dangerous, right? And so yet, they have this article where they're traveling with each other and they don't even know each other, which freaks me out. But he looks harmless as a man. And what I mean looks harmless, they don't look like a serial killer, but looks are deceiving. And so they're traveled. And so the article's about that. And they went to Turkey. I mean, it's not like they just went like uh, to Florida <laughs> or they went to Colorado. They went to Turkey and they went overseas. Okay. And so for me, what that just reinforced is people are doing way extreme things. Way extreme things. Okay. Extreme. To me, that is very extreme in the safety wise. Um, to connect with people and go live a like a dream life. What is a dream life? Traveling with people, traveling together, um, traveling in groups, that kind of thing. Prime example right now for myself. Here in Texas, there's a thing called Urban Camp Weekend. It is a whole black, wealthy Instagram. You can go look it up. Go look them up. Urban Camp Events. They do ski trips and they'll get about 600 to 3,000 black people well to do out in the middle of Toronto They'll ride buses from the airport. They'll go in teams. They'll be all in the same hotels. These people don't know each other from Adam, and they out there together. They have um, a camp camping thing. They do in San Marcos. Another 600 to 1,000 people. Pack it on out. They do, they're going to Dubai later this year. Packing it on out. And why am I bringing that up? Because community is really important. Right? These people are searching for community and clearly, not, I'm not judging all of them because I go to some of the trips, they can't find it in their local city. They can't find it with their local group of friends, but they're still going to go. Okay? And you should go. You know, I talk about it in Explosive Networking. I'm going to talk about it more there to tell y'all why and how it works and how it's better. Same thing with these political campaigns and conferences and UBA, United Way, volunteering. All these things people do to create community is going to happen 10x. And I, and I just want y'all to know that as this year progresses. So when you see all these women going home, you're going to see an increase of mommy mommy groups, mommy play date groups, uh, mommy budget groups, uh, moms do Bible study together, whatever. You're going to see an increase of it. You're going to see an increase of, uh, prime example, my friends have a uh, gun class defensive training class they are on instagram i'm not gonna say their page there's three of them and what they do is they book uh, uh the bays the shooting bays and they book it and they they market it men come from all over men come from states over the guys were having it here in texas men came from colorado men came from uh, oklahoma men flew over from louisiana to hang out in a group of other men shooting guns me and two other women were the only women there why? Because community is important. And so when people try to sell you on this lone wolf policy, I don't buy it because I know it's not true. And people, that's not realistic and that's not healthy. Okay? <clears throat> but again, the point of this whole show is I want y'all to be alert. Okay? I want y'all to be alert of what's happening in our economy. And, 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 and once you are alert, like you're awake, because a lot of people are still asleep right um prime example when i see people standing on the corner at the at the light trying to sell something or trying to give you something or trying to raise change to me i'm like what happened that we're all the way there there were many steps before we got there even now when i see young men who are just standing around i'm like baby you can get on your phone and make money today 
in a million other ways than what you're doing okay um so i just want y'all alert people who are in this channel who watch this channel i want you alert i want you to be able to invest from your phone i want you to make good decisions from your phone and from your laptop to one make money to connect the community and three just be alert okay home homes homestead channels went up farming channels went up um you know aggregate uh, community supported agricultural pages went up on youtube and on google there's reasons so so again financially people having to adjust their behavior you're going to start seeing that in the marketplace and that's the majority of what i want to talk to y'all about but yeah it starts with the women going home <laughs> and then it'll start with again dave ramsey and grant cardone two people who will be billionaires in this recession let me say it again billionaires people are saying oh erica grant cardone he's struggling no 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 every month he's had um and i'm gonna say all three of them i'm not trying to be disrespectful he had like a 10x event you pay 10k to be at and like 100 people would be there then he had an event where you pay 50,000 to be there and it's like uh 25 people max each time so <clears throat> so then so then and then he had another event where you pay 30,000 and i think 10 people be there 10 or no no like 40 or 50 people so it's like as it so as a big moment if you pay 10k it's like 100 people in the room if you pay 30k it's like 25 it's like 50 people in the room. if you pay the 50k it's like 10 15 people in the room he's been doing those every month ever since y'all been talking shit about him and they've been going every month and every month they're sold out so there's money in the marketplace okay when i was talking about other shows sip and touch sip and touch in atlanta was sold out sip and touch was sold out in the middle of a pandemic you are going to drink wine and touch strangers and give massages to strangers and learn how to massage i'm trying to give it i'm trying to give it the respect it deserves but it was a little weird to hear the show sip and touch now again there's 200 there's almost 300 people in here and i got 84 likes just hit the like button if the channel's just even good to you drop a one in the comments so i know it was at least decent y'all got to hear me over the loudness of the road and you at least enjoyed it but I want you to understand that, you know, in, in that class, I'm going to talk to you about Eventbrite local stars. Now, there are several people I know who made Eventbrites just to bring people to them. And then they built their own kind of little community out of it, out of having an event group, uh, an event group and also a meetup.com meetup group. And I was like, how much does this cost to start a meetup.com meetup group? Meetup.org group. And it was like 150 bucks. So this person spent 150 bucks and started having events pre-planned where they want bringing group, groups of people. I mean, you guys, you can't make this stuff up. It's just too, it's too easy um, to create community. It's too easy to create kind of the life and groups of people you want around you, um, whether it's Instagram, whether it's whatever. And so I had to share that. I had to get that off my chest. I had to just talk to y'all about that. I was just tired of seeing every everybody talking about food insecurity it's insecure no no it's not it, it just is people are going to start having to cook now keep in mind in iowa we did have the destruction of crops we have had the destruction of crops in california we have had the destruction of crops in florida will there be hyperinflation later this year on crops yes there will be food prices will be really high this fall so brace yourself for that for sure but overall you're going to see like rachel ray still got a job okay okay rachel ray is still teaching people how to cook there's reasons for that we have a society of people don't know how to cook you're still going to make money off that darius cooks had a sold out tour where he came to your house and cooked not to your house but little events and cooked for groups of 30 30 people okay blue apron up all of green chef up people at home they ain't leaving the house they're not going to the grocery store food gets shipped to them they cook with the food they send i, I get blue apron and i get green chef so again that's what i have for y'all tonight i didn't want to be on here too long uh, i just want to make sure y'all understood uh kind of dissecting some of what you're reading out here and seeing in these articles but what i said two years ago is true these chicks are going home and these chicks are marrying somebody you you take it how you want it you take it how you want to hear it but these, these ladies, 
is marrying somebody. It could be whoever you like. <laughs> and some of these people are going to be moving in the house with their grandma and grandpas because that's all the choice they're going to have. And that's okay too. As long as you're saving some money. So, uh, this is your girl, Erica. Classy Climb Vlog. I know your comments in here are going to be hilarious. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I appreciate all y'all, but have a great night. Stay alert. Stay alert.